When students first learn about physics, they often confuse the concepts of force and energy. One of the reasons we learn about the concepts of work and mechanical advantage is to find the appropriate language to talk about these. When we first find our worker, he is attempting to lift an object with weight, W. The pulley allows him to pull down, which is nice, but it isn't helping him leverage his strength at all. Let's have him pull the rope by a distance 5D. As you can see, the block raises by the same distance, 5D. The force applied to the weight is equal to its weight, W. Since there is no mechanical advantage conferred by the pulley system, the worker is pulling the same force, W. The worker, in pulling on the rope, expends energy. We can see how much energy he expends by examining the graph on the right. The area bounded by the force versus distance curve which in this case is 1w times 5d, or 5wd, equals the work done by the worker. Work is transferred energy, so this is the amount of energy he is transferring. Where does all this energy go? Well, remember, the weight and the earth are pulling on each other with the force of gravity. The energy goes into pulling the weight and the earth apart. So, we say this energy went into the gravitational system, consisting of the Earth and the hanging weight. Let's make things more interesting by increasing the mechanical advantage. By allowing a moving pulley to appear, and by wrapping the rope around this pulley once, we can create a mechanical advantage of 2. By doubling the rope, we allow the tension in the rope to have. This means that the worker needs only to pull with half the force that was required below. Amazing! Force can be leveraged by a simple machine such as this. Notice that the work done by the worker is less now too. He is pulling with a force equal to half the weight of the object. What provides the extra pull? Well, Notice that the strong metal beam above his head is also pulling upward on the pulley system. Of course, ultimately, the force applied to the hanging object is the same as it was before. Doubling the rope is kind of like using a lever. We get twice the force. But do we get something for nothing? No. Look carefully at the graph on the left. The object has only raised half the distance and so the area of the force versus distance graph is smaller by half. What's happening? Look at both graphs together. When you generate mechanical advantage by using a simple machine, you leverage force, allowing you to apply a smaller force. But you lose something too. The distance traveled by the object is less. Let's try a lot of different combinations. Notice that no matter what you do, the area of the graph on the left and the area of the graph on the right are always the same. Here's the spooky part. The areas would be the same even if we used a lever. Or a ramp. Check out our ramp and piano simulation to see more on that topic. No matter what simple machine you use, no matter how much leverage you get, the area of a force versus distance graph stays the same. What's going on? Well, the area of a force versus distance graph is the work done. Work is transferred energy. You can leverage force, but you can't leverage energy. Energy is conserved. These machines make things easier in terms of how much force you apply, but you still end up doing the work. When you have a pulley with high mechanical advantage, you have to pull the rope much farther to get the object to rise up than if you used low mechanical advantage. Your total effort, as measured by expended energy, is the same. A simple machine makes tasks much easier, which is a great thing, but at a cost. You have to do the easier thing much more. In the end, you expend the same amount of effort as measured by expended energy. In short, you don't get something for nothing.